Now, Chick might have never been, you know, damaged in a race before, but I thought it would still be fun to make a crash damage version of him. So I made this custom, and it was just an old version of Chick that was pretty beat up, to be honest, and I did not want him anymore. So I just beat him up for fun, and it looked like a pretty good custom, so I decided to put some more effort into it, and it works. So if I ever need to do a stop motion, or display, or anything like that, that he ends up crashing in, I can use this diecast for him. Here's the Thailand variant of Chick, by the way. New one. This is a Chinese variant, though. Just saying. So we're going to start with the front, and as you can see, he is pretty squished. Um, on the top here, um, I used a tool that kind of squishes down, so it really made him flat. On the hood, um, HTB, it's like all scratched up, the paint scratched off. Hostile Takeover Bank is pretty beat up, um, and there's like something gray in there, it's not really white on it. On the side, this tire, it doesn't move. I don't think any of these are, except for... This one's the only one that moves. The rest of these don't really move that well. Pretty hard to move. Eh, actually, these move pretty well. But when you just roll it, it doesn't really move, except for that front one. Either way, um, let's get on to the side we were on. Um, so, the scrape here is actually a funny story. I just put them on the treadmill, held on it, and the, and the treadmill just scraped it right off. I think it looks pretty good. So you know do it do what works and in the back here it's like totally bent in you can see the back of the tire um and then i put some sharpie marks in there to be like some i don't know dirt i i, I don't really know on the back the spoiler you know you notice is just gone i just ripped it off it wasn't on purpose but it happened there's some paint off there and like whatever that is it was a mistake but uh it looks like a splat of oil i don't know on here, there's, like, some scuff marks and whatnot. And then there's, like, some more dirt and whatever on here. And then s this was a mistake as well. Um, so that's real nice. The back is pretty beat up, too. Uh, the plastic almost cracked when I did it. And then on the top, uh, this is, once again, more work of the treadmill. It just, you know, scraped it right off. And it just, you can see how much it just declines so fast. It just got so squished. Yeah, otherwise there's not much roof damage. It's not too bad. But it did get, like, pretty scraped. It's like a car came in and hit, like, right here about and, like, scraped on. So it, you know... If we take Greg Candyman here, it's like he kind of hit right here and then kept going, scraping on, you know? So that puts all the pressure down on here and then starts scraping. Yeah, um, I'm surprised some of these tires didn't crack. So a lot of them were under a lot of pressure, especially this one. It does not move at all. The mustache, it's pretty beat up, but I can fix that with a Sharpie, I guess. Um, more like grit marks right here on the bumper it was kind of a, there was a huge chip there so it's kind of cover up that you can still see some of it on top um here's the base if you're interested i um i mean i already showed it but it was briefly you can see how much this was indented here um on this side now this wheel's just stuck there kind of sometimes gets shoved in it's weird same on this side but otherwise that's it for uh, damage to kicks um custom i mean i know it doesn't appear in the movie but it's real nice i think it looks nice with the scrape it makes good display if you have a huge crash um but otherwise that's going to conclude it for this video um if you enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video